You know, healthcare is costly. And city patients are really poor. They are poor. They are trying to 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 sell their kidneys. I know people like I know one of my patients who tell, told me, "Do you know any physician that accept to or any person Lebanese who can pay who is on dialysis so I sell him my kidney so I can treat my child?" This is really bad when it comes to a very easy to be treated cancer that uh, that's right, right had has a chance of 98% overall in the world and the treatment is available in Lebanon and you find parents who are saying this in front of you it's really heartbreaking it's really difficult it's really difficult to tell a mom that you know there is a treatment for your son but you should pay and you don't have money so that your son is going to die and even when it comes to dying we used to, to say the word uh, when it comes to palliative treatment let the patient die in peace. Our patients are not dying in peace. Syrian refugees, I'm talking not uh, about uh, all our patients, but I'm, I'm talking about Syrian children, are dying in pain and not in peace. I think for people that are affected by, by cancer, I think then they are vulnerable in a, in a double way, let's say. Um, and I think mostly because not only on a health point of view but also on a financial point of view because if they have to face already a lot of troubles on a matter of money for the visa permit to, to live here, to, to sustain themselves here which is way more expensive compared to Syria then the fact that they are also sick uh, and so therefore they have to go to the hospital put them even more in trouble because indeed um, it's more money requested that they have to try to find. Uh, usually expenses on this field are very high uh, and that's why I believe there are few, I'm not sure about this, but I believe there are few NGOs, few organizations supporting um, cases, like, cases like that and we as well, I have to say, as Federation of Italian Protestant Churches, we helped, we helped very few cases. I can remember really all of them because there were very, very few, I think five or six at most. So I'm sorry to say this, but this is the, the, the facts. And even when you get a, a reply from uh, the United Nations or whatever, who is the, the founder, you get a late reply. So maybe the UNHCR is helping sometimes, but uh, when it gets to uh, an MRI of the brain, for example, or an imaging request that gets approved after two months, I don't want this approval after two months because it's too late, the patient passed away. So we need an on-spot action for the treatment of these patients. From our experience as Karma, I mean, we've been mainly uh, dependent, on, our work has been dependent on donation and also mainly donation by individual donors. And of course this is not in any way something sustainable because can work for a certain period of time and then it suddenly stops so there's no it's very difficult to plan even like not only to plan for the whole year but even sometimes to plan for the next month or the next two months and also in the case where this is um, with like working with children with cancer it also means that it is often very unpredictable how much it actually costs so you make a cost estimate for the case and then at some point the children enters the hospital and the costs suddenly rise and you cannot say okay now I'm not paying anymore because I mean this is not the solution so I of course guess that some donations are not um, a sustainable solution um, I mean from my perspective, if we talk about cancer, I was, since it is of course also very high costs that are involved for, for every individual case, um, I think it really needs institutional funding and it needs institutional co-funding in a way, which is also long term. So it's not like partnerships that are only for maybe one year or six months, it needs like, I guess, three to four years. And I think it's very important to think about the co-funding aspect which I've always thought about approaching even you and HCR if you say okay I mean this part is covered by us, this part is covered by diagnosis is covered by this. I think then you can build up a system that is not a huge burden for one organization but it would be like less burden for everyone involved. That's always how I 
envisioned it in a way. Because usually when we approach like bigger institutions, international NGOs, it's always the comes up that it's somehow not sustainable because it's very expensive. And I think if we talk about the co-finance uh, program, this is maybe a naive solution, but it would uh, at least make it a bit less heavier for a single, for a single institution or a single NGO.